Hi, I'm Ashima and I'm going to teach you how to contour a round face. Today I have with me my friend Manika and I'm going to teach uh, you how to contour her face. Contouring is all about creating dimensions, sculpting a face. Um, the choice of the right color is very important. So one could contour a face with two shades darker than the skin tone. And uh, let's begin with contouring her face and I can give you more input as to how to contour it. The perfect shade would be to use a darker color which is uh, much darker than the skin tone. She is very fair so I'm going to um, take a much darker color and use this on the face and you can actually see the shade that I've used on her. It, it should be that dark. Now if I use the other one let me use a little bit of that. You need to create a jawline. So we're first marking the areas that we need to contour. And I'm drawing very crisp lines. So I'm literally drawing a jawline. Now next up, the areas that we need to highlight, we would be using a lighter color foundation under the eyes, the tip of the chin, the bridge of the nose and the center of the forehead. Next up, uh, we blend the contour into the highlight. Now we've dampened the sponge and we're first going to blend the highlight. Now a good technique and a quick tip is to use the lighter color highlight that we used under the cheek, the hollow of the cheek that we created just to get a crisper line. We want to set this contour and we want this lasting longer. So what is the technique to do that? Um, I'm going to use a powder contour. So we're going to set this with a powder. You could do this with a bronzing powder but make sure that the bronzing powder is matte and not shiny because that would make the cheeks look fuller. So always contour with a matte bronzer or a matte contour powder. One could also directly contour with a powder if one wants to. That's an easier way of contouring but this lasts much longer. So when you use a cream contour and a powder on top, it's going to be longer lasting. So we run the powder over the cream, the same motion downward on the jawline. So we're using a warm tone blush so that it gives us the illusion of sculpted cheeks and we're not really using it on the apple of the cheeks, we're just using it more so in the hollows, continuing from the contour color that we used. Now there are a lot of uh, face shapes that we have. Uh, we have a round shaped face, we have a, a triangular face shape, we have uh, a square, we have a rectangle, we have an inverted triangle. Now uh, essentially when we're trying to contour a face, we're trying to um, create a perfect oval which is considered the perfect face shape. So essentially we should try and bring uh, any face shape to an oval to create the illusion of a perfect face shape. Mm -hmm. 